and we move on to the final fight in the round of 16 before we start picking the quarterfinals, semis, and eventually the finals. We're going to pick a winner of this tournament for you here tonight. Daniel Gita, 44 wins, 7 losses. He's the third seed in this tournament, taking on Jonata Diniz. Diniz, 7 wins, 2 losses, is a late injury replacement for the half-Brazilian, half-Japanese Fabiano Cyclone Aoki. Diniz is a uh, Brazilian with a reckless knockout style. While Gita is born in Romania but trains actually in the United States with the Black Zillion camp in Boca Raton, Florida. He's 31 years old, has been fighting since 2004, and is riding a seven-fight win streak, including a knockout liver kick win over the 49-19 and 19 Zevad Poturak on June 30th of this year in Belgium. Gita, 34 of his 44 victories via knockout with 10 decision wins. He has lost seven times in his career, six via decision, and just once via knockout with losses to Semi Schilt in 2009 and Gokan Saki in 2010. Gita has also picked up knockout wins over Sergei Khairatanov and Errol Zimmerman. Gita, Denise. Uh, interesting matchup here, but uh, I'm going to go with Daniel Gita. I just don't think Denise will be ready uh, for the experience that Gita brings, for the skill that he brings. Denise has fought nine times professionally. Uh, while Gita has fought 51 times. So I'm going to go with Gita, the third seed in this tournament, to beat Denise, the injury replacement. I, I'm going to have to go with Gita as well. Super impressed that he defeated Sergei Heratonov and Errol Zimmerman via knockout, and the fact that he went the distance with Semi Shilt and Gokan Saki uh, in his losses. So Gita, it is advancing to the quarterfinals. All right, so... We have picked exactly the same in the opening round of this tournament. Let's see how we pick our quarterfinals. So we have both picked Semi Shield to face Her- Sergei Haritanov in the quarterfinals of this tournament. Who do you see moving on, Shield or Haritanov? I'm going to go with the big Russian to pull off the upset. I'm going to go with the number eight seed to knock off the number one seed, and I'm going to go with Sergei to beat Shield. In the quarterfinals. I'm going to disagree. I'm going to go with Schilt on that one. All right. Schilt is going to defeat Sergei Haritanov. All right. So Kevin likes Semi Schilt. I like Sergei Haritanov to pull up the upset. How about Gokan Saki versus Anderson Silva? The other quarterfinal here, Saki and Silva. I like Saki. I like Saki as well. And I'm not talking about the beverage. I'm talking about the man, Mr. Gokan. We both like Gokan Saki to advance into the semifinals of this tournament. How about Remy Bonyaski versus Errol Zimmerman? I like Bonyanski. I do as well. So we're both taking Remy Bonyaski to advance. And who will Bonyaski face? Daniel Gita or Peter Ertz? I'm going to go with um, Gita. I'm going to go with Peter Ertz. I'm going to go the other way. So Kevin is picking Daniel Gita to move into the semis, but I'm going to go with Peter Ertz. So I have Haritana versus Gokan Saki in the semifinals, and you have Semi Schilt versus Gokan Saki. Who do you have winning, Schilt or Gokan? Schilt. All right, so Kevin has Semi Schilt going into the finals. And I'm going to have Sergei Haritanov going into the finals of this tournament and beating Gokan Saki in the semis. How about Remy Bonyaski and Peter Ertz? Well, I've got Daniel Gita versus Remy Bonyaski. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I've got Peter Ertz. So who do you have? I still have Daniel, Bo- Daniel I- Gita or Remy Bonyaski? I got Bonyaski. All right. So Kevin has Remy Bonyaski going into the finals. And uh, I'm going to have Remy Bonyaski going into the finals as well. I think Bonyaski will beat Peter Ertz. You think he'll beat Daniel Gita. We both have Bonyaski in the finals. I have Bonyaski versus Sergei Haritanov, and you have Remy Bonyaski and Sammy Schilt. I think either way, we have yeah, a pretty <laughs> yeah. sick final. Uh, who do you have winning the whole thing? Bonyaski. All right. So Kevin is taking Bonyaski to win the whole thing. And I'm going to go with Sergei Haritanov. I think that Sergei 
somehow, some way, as the eighth seed, will find his way winning this whole thing. And that is the tournament. I mean, wow. How excited are you for this? We both have Remy Bonyaski going into the finals, though. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's a fantastic tournament. I think uh, this is one of those classic moments in combat sports where, uh, you know, as much as there are going to be some losers in this tournament, I think the fans are the winners in this because uh, even our predictions, I don't think it really matters because all in all, this is going to be a fantastic 16-man tournament. And I'm very excited for this. The fact that they're completing the entire tournament in one. It's Not crazy. Not even the original UFCs were 16 men. Yeah. They were eight men. Wow. And some of them were four men. So you've got Remy Bonyaski as he is the number four seed. You have him beating. Let's check out Bonyaski's route to the final. You have him beating Philip Verlinden in the opening round. You then have him beating Errol Zimmerman beating Daniel Gita in the semis before beating Semi Schilt in the finals. I have Sergei Haritanov winning the whole thing, have him beating Rico Verhoeven in the first round, Semi Schilt in the second round, Gokan Saki in the semis, and then Remy Bonyaski in the finals. And that's it. Glory for one man, one one night, 16 <laughs> man heavyweight tournament. We're going to continue the preview for everything Combat sports, everything MMA going down in Japan as we'll get to Dream 18 going down the same night in Japan at the Saitama Super Arena. We'll give you our picks for Dream 18. And then, second hour of the program, stay tuned. We'll get to UFC 155 going down tomorrow night. All fights, all the time. It's Ringside Report Radio. Stay with us. It's me when the gods get to acting like the bras. Guess every team doesn't come complete with like ours.